I'm Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here with another edition of The Process. On today's vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been working on, and that is I've been drawing horses, or trying to draw horses. Uh, if you're not an animal artist to begin with, it's a little daunting. I've been trying to draw horses for a long time, and I use things like photo reference, and I go to YouTube, and I'll watch clips of horses in action, and I'll stop the frame, and I'll try to draw them in different poses, and see if I can understand the muscle structure that uh, underlies uh, the, the horse itself. And it's, it's been a daunting task, because if you, it's just like if you're drawing a human, you can tell if something is off. And with horses, it's the margin is even smaller for some reason, because when you actually start breaking down a horse, you realize that their legs aren't as long as you imagine them, or the, the, the way their muzzle looks. I, I don't know, for me, I, I have a little more difficulty with that, but with the current graphic novel I'm working on, uh, I'm going to be drawing a lot of horses. In fact, there's a legions of horses and horse riders, and that's, oh man, I've got paintings. I'm even using uh, uh, old paintings that other artists have done that sort of show horses in battle, which is super important because that's part of the, the story. So whatever reference I can pull, I'm definitely using it. So it's, it's gonna be an ongoing thing. Even though I'm working on the on the concept design for the, the graphic novel, I'm also training to, to get better at drawing horses. Uh, today's cool thing is this book uh, called The Illusion of Life, Disney Animation by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. They're two of the nine old men. If you're familiar with animation, you probably already know all about this book. The Nine Old Men are the original animators who gave Disney that look, that feel that of the old uh, Disney animation from years ago. And so this book basically breaks down, I love this cover, look at this, the wraparound cover. Um, it basically breaks down the, the entire process of Disney animation from its early days to to, well, not even really now. It's, I'm not even saying that the stuff is dated, but you know, it's, it's, it's from a time period when uh, hand animation was still, was still king. Um, let's see here, let me show you a few things. They'll show everything from how to draw eyes, how to interpret reality, and try to bring that to life in simple line and form. It'll talk about X sheets, which are the timing sheets for animation. Uh, here's, here's a good example. Um, if you get a chance, it's definitely a, a dense read, but it's well worth it. Even if you're not an animator, it's, it's something worth, uh, worth looking into. Uh, I tend to like to study a variety of things to pull that into whatever I'm working on, whether it's, uh, for instance, animation. The reason why I started studying that was to get more character into my drawings, into, into my own characters. So. Have at it as you will. Oh, today's uh, bit of advice is something I personally, I learned from acting. It's, oh, I was taking an acting class years ago, again, trying to learn about character and, and, and directing people and, and trying to imbue character into characters, uh, is affect the space. If you affect the space, you can do good work. So for instance, I love cleaning my studio. I, I work on a big project, the studio gets a little messy, and so I clean it. Sometimes I move things around. It's, it, it, you can find that if you, if you get stuck in your work, that if you affect the space in some positive way, that it will start affecting you in a positive way, and then you can do new work, or you can do better work. So think about that next time if you're feeling frustrated, or if you're feeling like uh, you need a change. Change the, the space around you, affect it. And uh, you might find it's, it's definitely, uh, Definitely a bonus in, in your arsenal. So, anyway, that's it for this week. Take care, leave a comment or feedback below, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.